Okay, so I started the uh, generator after I cleaned the uh, uh, I let the carburetor hold the gasoline out and also I uh, spray a little bit of I removed the spark plugs, cleaned it a little bit and uh, spray some starting fluid into the generator and now it's working so I'm going to start charging my uh, equipment so I bought this EcoFlow 27 watts uh, battery generator um, so that I can use it at the campground at the uh, at night during the um, quiet hours. And this capacity is um, 1024 watt hour. It's essentially 100 m hour battery. Um, but the thing is, it has so many USB chargers. Um, in the front and uh, this is the um, power button basically you press once to, to start and then you press uh, hold three three seconds and then it will turn off and here you can see you know many uh, options you can even make coffee because it's um, 1800 rated for 1800 watt um, I don't think I can run an air conditioning using this Delta 2 EcoFlow Delta 2 because it's only 1800 watts to run an air conditioning you need at least 3000 watts you know so battery cycles to 80% capacity and for 10 years so this battery is going to be good for 10 years uh, let me see if I can find the backside oh. There's no backside for you to see on this uh, on this generator. So anyway, so you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six outlets. Okay, so this is the thing I want to charge. Um, you can see it's 29% charged and uh, using a wind generator, 3800 watts right down there and this is the back of the generator, you know, and uh, the back of the generator, uh, this uh, inverter. So I'm hoping to get it to 100% soon. You know, I'm just gonna let it run. Shut off. 
off automatically because the fuel in the carburetor is, is completely or, or um, the engine, the motor is going to run uh, the rest of the gasoline in the machine off. But there's still going to be some residual fuel in the uh, carburetor. As you can see, it just shut off, you know? So you don't want to believe that uh, what they say about um, there's not going to be any left remaining residual fuel left in the carburetor. You still need to clean the carburetor if you don't run it like I, you know, didn't run it for maybe two to three years and now that's what happened. You couldn't start it. But like I did before, just open up um, the other side of the opposite side of this coil um, pull string and then uh, there are only two screws on the top and then you will be able to access the carburetor uh, button at the at the at the bottom of the carburetor you just unscrew that let the remaining carburetor or let the remaining fuel probably some water sitting water in the carburetor at the bottom of the carburetor let them you know drain out and then you shut off that screw and also remove the spark plug and then uh clean the spark plug and you know if you want you can spray some uh starting fluid into the spark plug hole and then you will be able to start this machine even though it's been sitting for you know two to three years or even longer you know, basically the carburetor gone up with uh, some uh, leftover fuel that uh, uh, stained or, uh, you know, moisturized. So that's why the motor couldn't start in the, in the beginning. But then after a little bit of um, DIY carrying maintenance, then it should start just like that.